Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will solve some numerical on root locals. Before going to solve numerical, I will recall the some rules of root locals to construct it. The rules of root locals we have studied in lesson in lecture number two and lecture number three. So there are some steps to sketch root locals. Step one is transform the characteristic equation into the standard form, and the standard form is this: one plus k n s divided by d s is equals to zero. This n s is your numerator part, and d s is your denominator part. The step number two is find the open loop zeros and open loop poles, and mark mark the these zeros and poles in s plane like this this is your s plane here the real axis is sigma and imaginary axis is j omega axis here we mark zero by cross and sorry pole by cross and Zero by zero. The rule number three, sorry, the step three is determine the real axis segment, yeah, part of root locus that are on the root locus by applying rule number five. The rule number five says that any point on the real axis is a part of the root locus if and only if the number of poles and zeros to its right is odd. It means if this is a S plane, and here this is a pole, and this one is your zero. The part, the segment of the root locus R. We will see here number of odd poles and. Zero. So here, number of poles and zeros are zero. And if we see, sorry, if we see here in the right side of this pole, there is only one zero present. It means root locus segment will present between this pole and this zero. This. step number 4 determine the number of asymptotes means number of loci and corresponding intersection point which is called as your centroid sigma a by rule number 4 and rule number 11 as you can see the rule number 4 is if n is if p is greater than 0 means the number of poles is greater than number of zeros then the number of Asymptotes will be equal to your number of poles. If the poles are greater than your zeros, then number of asymptotes will be equal to your number of zeros. And the centroid can be find out by the rule number eleven, and it says that the point of intersection of asymptotes with real axis is called centroid, and this can be find out by this formula. Sig, uh, sigma a is equals to sum of poles minus sum of zeros divided by number of pole minus number of zeros. Now, the step number five is determine angle of asymptotes theta k by applying rule number seven, and this can be find out by this formula. Angle of departure can be find out by This formula, when p is greater than z and when p, sorry, when z is greater than p, this formula can be applied by when p z is greater than p, and this formula will be.
band z is greater than p your formula will be del k is equals to 2k plus 1 into 180 degree divided by z minus p ok the step number six, six, uh, 6 is determine the breakaway point and break in point using rule number 6 this step is conditional means if the breakaway point x and break in point are present in the system then we will apply rule number 6 the step number 7 is determine the departure and arrival angle using rule number 8 and rule number 9 the formula of uh, angle of departure and angle of arrival is this step number 8 determine the imaginary axis crossing using rule number 10 so let's solve some example I have taken one example here the question is consider a unity feedback control system with the following transfer function gs is equals to 0.48 kp divided by s bracket may 0.0174 s plus 1 plot the root locus for this system so to plot the root locus of this gs first of all we write characteristics equation and for this we can already find we can find out the characteristics equation by this formula 1 plus gs hs is equals to 0 here the question is says that unity feedback control system it means the value of hs is equals to 1 so i am putting the values of gs and hs in this equation so it will be your 1 plus kp 0.48 divided by s bracket may 0.0174 s plus 1 this is your ns and this is your ds Now, we will follow the steps to sketch the root locus. So, the first step is transforming this characteristics equation into an in standard form and the standard form can be written like this. One plus Kp zero point four eight divided by S sorry S zero point zero one seven four S plus one now by taking zero point zero one seven four in common so it will be four eight KP divided by S 0.0174 is equals to 1 plus 1 upon 0.0174 so this will become your 27.5 and this will become your 57.5 7 you can see here this is 57.47 and this is 27.5 the second step is find the open loop zeros and the open loop poles so here gs is given as gs is equals to Point four eight K 
kp divided by s 0.0174 plus s plus 1 here number of 0 is equals to 0 because there is no 0 present and number of pole is equals to 2 and the location of pole is the first pole is at 0 and the second pole is at minus of this term minus of 57.47 so we will locate these zeros and pole in s plane the s plane is this the f this is j omega axis and this is sigma the first zero is present at zero sorry huh, it is at origin and the second pole is present at minus 57.47 as you can see here in this s plane now we will find the segment of the root locus and this segment of the root locus can be find out by the rule number five if we see here and in the right side of the second pole there is only one pole so here root locus will exist and if we see in this section there is there are two poles present means pole number one and pole number two which is a even number so here root locus does not exist now the step number four is determine the number of asymptotes and the corresponding intersection sigma a means the centroid of the asymptote and the angle of asymptotes by applying rule number four eleven and rule number five the rule number four is number of asymptotes so in the given transfer function there is only two pole present it means p is greater than zero it means p is greater than zero then the number of asymptotes or i can say number of root loci will be equal to the number of pole which is two means there are two root loci and by the rule number 11 means centroid of the asymptotes can be find out by sigma a is equals to sum of sum of poles minus sum of zeros divided by p minus z so here the first pole is at 0 and the second pole is at minus 57.47 minus now zeros are absent so here will be 0 and the number of pole is 2 and the number of zeros are 0 so the centroid will be your this minus 28.74 and the number and the sorry and the angle of asymptotes can be find out by 180 degree k plus 1 180 degree divided by p minus z in p greater than z case so here 2k plus 1 into 180 degree and p minus z means 2 minus 0 and this 2 is 90 degree so 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 into 90 degree for k is equals to 0 and k is equals to 1 is 
first one is 90 degree and second one is 270 degree so there are two asymptotes present and the number of asymptotes are the first is 90 degree and the second one is 270 degree next step is step number five determine the breakaway point and break in point for this dk by ds is equals to zero now we will find the equation of k and that e and this equation will be your s 0.0174 s plus 1 plus 0.4 s 48 k is equals to 0 so this kp is equals to this s minus of s 0.0174 s plus 1 divided by 0.48 by differential by differentiate this kp with, with respect to s we will get this point s is equals to minus 28.74 this point is nothing but your breakaway point this point cannot be your break-in point because there is only two pole present and these poles are on real axis so your root locus will be in will be goes to your will be go to your complex plane now by applying all the steps we can draw the root locus of this system like this this is our first pole and this is the second pole So here as we have find out that root locus will exist between this uh, between the poles so the now uh, the break away point will be at 0 point sorry 2 minus 2 28 point 74 as we know from the rule number one that your root locus will start from the open loop pose and it terminate at open loop zero so here the root locus will start like this these two are your open loop pose so root locus will start from these two pose like this and this will meet at your breakaway point which is at minus 28.48 this value so here this root locus meet and the num and the number of asymptotes and their angles are the centroid of the asymptotes is 28.48 so Hello? two asymptotes will be like this this is your making 90 degree and this will make your 270 degree now from this breakaway point your root locus will go to the complex 
plane and follow the angle of asymptotes which is 90 degree and 270 degree now by applying all the rules and steps you can draw the root locus here angle of arrival and a majorly axis rule will not apply because the root locus the first root locus is not crossing imaginary axis so here last rule means the crossing of imaginary axis will not apply and there is no zeros present are present so angle of arrival and angle of departure will not we will not calculate so i hope uh, you can uh, solve other numericals also thank you